I n will be equal to the integral of cos n minus two s cos square n dx. That's what we are going to have. So, um, from trig identity, cos n minus two s. From trig identity, this one will become um. Um, don't forget, um, we have that 1 plus cos square s equal cosec, cosec square s. That is from trigonometric trig identity. So that means that cos square s, cos square s is equal to cosec square s minus 1. So this one will now be equal to cosec square x minus 1 ds. So I n is equal to the integral of cos n minus two s cosec square s cos n minus two s cosec square s ds minus integral of cos n minus two s ds. So that I n will now be equal to this one again, like what I have done in the other one. If you differentiate cot n, if you differentiate cot x, you have minus cos square s. Since I have cos square s here, I will just write um, the minus cot s. Since uh, if I differentiate cot x, I have minus cos square s, but I have just cos square s, I just put minus the minus cot x. Just as just like we have explained for this case, this is equal. Uh, this is minus. Um, I n minus two, so that this one will now be I n is equal to. If you do this one, this one will now be minus cos n minus one s over n minus one minus I n minus two. That is what we are going to have. So that's what I'm going to obtain as the final answer. So that is the reduction formula for um, cos n x.